people of the world, friends and relatives. Another day by stray kids. These kids are so stray. Feel so bad for them. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna land on their feet. Guys, we don't need a pick. Why am I, why am I holding a pick? It's totally normal guitar and totally standard tuning. There's nothing suspicious about this guitar. It's just a normal guitar. There's only four chords in this song and we're gonna learn them and that's the way that's gonna go. Put your pointer finger on the third fret of the top string. The second string from the top we're not gonna use for at this moment in time. Your middle finger plays the third fret on the third string from the top. Ring finger, third fret, third string from the bottom. I recommend you put your pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. We're not actually going to play that note, but this way if you accidentally hit that string, you're good to go and this chord right here, this G minor 7 chord is going to be useful in other songs and it's nice to get in the habit of having your pinky there. There, I'm off my soapbox, pinky rant complete. You are going to play the top string with your thumb. Then you're going to play the two middle strings, the D and G string, third from the top and third from the bottom with your pointer and middle finger. You're just going to pluck them like that. So it goes thumb and then fingers. The rhythm is going to go one, two, three, four, thumb fingers. Play it again. Thumb fingers, that was fine. Thumb fingers, I threw a third one at you. That one was for free. Then, you're gonna pinch together all three of those notes. Thumb up on the top, fingers on the middle too. Pinch them all together like that. So we've got thumb fingers, pinch. Uh, thumb fingers, pinch. One more time, thumb fingers, pinch. Then, your pointer finger plays the third string from the top all by its lonesome self. Ping, pow, pow, ow. One, two, nice and slow. Thumb fingers, pinch, pointer. Thumb fingers, pinch, pointer. Get used to that rhythm. We're gonna do it a lot. So many times, four times to be precise. I need you to go like this. Put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. Now what I recommend is that you have your pinky and your ring finger just glide along those two strings. So watch this, so we're like this. These two fingers, you're just gonna glide along the strings as you bring your middle finger to the fourth fret on the second string from the top. Should I do that one more time? Here, and then there. Great! Play that second string from the top with your middle finger on the fourth fret. Then slide your hand back to where it was and put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. So now we've got middle finger, second string, third fret, pointer finger, second fret on the third string from the top, and then your ring finger and pinky are on the third fret of the third string from the bottom and second string from the bottom. I said that in the most convoluted way, but you know what I mean. We're friends, we understand each other. It's like we have our own language. I love how we can go without seeing each other for like two years and then when we meet up, it's like not a day has passed. That's what best friends are like and that's why we're best friends. Hi, my name's Stuart, welcome. Um, uh, consider a like and a subscribe. I don't, I feel like I'm obligated to say that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconsider my life. So guys, now we're on this C9 chord like this, and here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna do the same picking pattern we did just a second ago. The only difference is your thumb is gonna move from the top string to the second string from the top. So you're gonna go, fingers stay on those middle two strings. You go, thumb fingers, pinch, and then pointer finger on the third string from the top. Thumb fingers, pinch, pointer. When we put all this together, we've got back on our G minor seven chord, we're going thumb fingers, pinch finger, fourth fret, and then slide back, thumb fingers, pinch finger. Up to speed with rhythm and grace, it sounds like this. I did a very bad job. Can I do that one more time, please? One, two, here we go. There we go, we're halfway through already, guys. We're halfway through. All right, time for the second half. B abandon all fingers here, ye who enter. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the top string, play it with your thumb, then move up to the fifth fret on the top string. You're gonna play it with your thumb, but at the same time, put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top, ring finger fifth fret third string from the bottom and pinky fifth fret second string from the bottom that pinky again is a note we're not really going to use but it's nice to have it there just in case you're going to do the exact same pattern we did for the first chord 
That's so good. This is an A minor seven chord. Let's do that one more time. It was thumb fingers, pinch fingers, and then finger. I got distracted at the end there. There was, uh, I got some other, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, you know, like food and dinner and dessert and stuff. And it just really distracted me. You're going to lift up your pointer finger and your middle finger. Put your pointer finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the top. Play it. Then, this is interesting, it's very interesting. Put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top and move your pointer finger down one string to the fourth fret of the third string from the top. This is a D9 chord. On the D9 chord, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go thumb, fingers. Thumb is on the second string from the top, fingers are on the middle two. Then you're gonna go like this. So what I did there, they had my thumb sitting on the second string from the top, pointer on third from the top, middle on third from the bottom, ring finger on the second string from the bottom, and I went like this. I just got my fingers all on the strings, and I just feel like I'm just peeling my hand off. I gotta pluck my thumb, and my fingers, I just move my hand away and peel them off one at a time. You also can, like, move each finger, but for me it's easier just to peel my hand off. Peel my hand off. Let's play the whole thing. One, two, that, that's the whole song. It's easy. It's, I mean, it's medium, medium difficulty, but it's short is what I meant to say. One, two, three, four. Then it starts over. And then um, I did that on purpose. One more thing I wanted to say, sometimes in the verse, it sounds like they go like this. They play the first chord normal. But then for the second chord, it sounds like they go. So what I did there was for the first little thumb fingers, I had my pointer finger bumped up into the third fret with all the other fingers. That makes it into a C sus chord. Oh, just a quick review. Uh, G minor seven, C nine, a minor seven, D nine. Those are useful chord shapes. They're going to come up at other times in your life. But okay, back to what I was saying. This guy here, we did with a pointer finger in the third fret. It makes it into a C seven sus. So they're just going thumb fingers, then you move it back for the pinch, and then finger normal. So, I don't know. I feel like they do that at random times during the verse. Um, so what I do, honestly, Personally, with my personal decision in this matter, um, I just don't really worry about it. I just don't do that. Or if I do it, I just do it when I feel like it. And, and that's it. So that's about all I have to say. I have my coffee cup, but it's empty at the moment. I'm thinking of refilling it with some coffee. Um, I'm going to do one more video today, and then I've got some regular work. I'm probably going to have Chipotle tonight, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. How you doing? Mm -hmm.